Indian food. Woohoo! Nan. Uh, it's called Nan. Just Nan? Oh, I guess it's just called Nan. Nan. So we haven't eaten the food yet. But we're going to try it and we're going to tell you guys what we think. But we did a pit stop at, what is this place? Does it even have a label on yours? No? It's called Chaka Tea Bar. The Chaka Tea Bar. Show them oh. mine. Hers has the name, I guess, on it. You could try mine if you want. Tell them what you think. Okay. Hers is a taro black tea, I believe. And so... Yes, you're right. I will... Tastes really good. I need Probably some energy. I needed, purple. yeah, I needed the energy. So I was like, well, I might as well because I'm gonna fall asleep if I don't. Yeah, and she's, I know her. She's not known to fall asleep, but uh, I'm doing watching something or watching something. So. <laughs> I get into whatever we're watching and then she's uh, locked out, fast asleep, and I don't even realize it. So we don't want that to happen, right? Mm, no, no, especially when. Uh, I'm enjoying it and then I'm like oh look and then yours is like <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what he's gonna say about mine and then he'll tell you what he thinks of of his um it tastes good it tastes good um I'm not a fan of black tea but the taro helps it uh helps it be tastes like better mm -hmm. the tar is actually really, really helping it um, but the black tea gives you a tour of like a background sort of taste that's kind of a little strong so if you guys are not fond of like a strong sort of a black tea taste then um yeah maybe i'll shy away from this one uh, but the taro helps if you're a, a black tea fan the taro is, gives it um, a hint of sweetness that's really tasty and you look forward to finding it you know while, while you're tasting the black tea you're, you're like oh well, there's the taro oh, it tastes so good so that's that small hint of sweetness so yeah describe it to taste um, uh, like maybe you guys know by now uh, i'm a cookies oreos slash cookies and cream cookies and cream fan i know it's my go-to and so just testing it out they really um made it almost into powder <laughs> the the oreo and i'm not i'm not sort of that kind of person. consistency yeah, I'm not the, that kind of person that likes that um, texture of like it just being powdered because uh, I want to taste the um, crunchiness. Not only the crunchiness, yeah, the crunchy is awesome, but also the um, the bits of um, sugar that I, the, you know you know how the it's a Oreo sandwich um, that has that white stuff in the middle, the um, bunch of sugar, white sugar. I want to taste that too, so it tastes. Um, very like that really sweetness uh, that's what i'm looking for every time I'm, I'm, I'm you know getting chunks of oreos but they uh, powdered it down so now i can't really taste it so i'm a little sad <laughs> but it tastes good hey guys as i was editing i wanted to um, inform you guys that um this was like a month ago i believe where we ended up going to eat at this nan place um, at the beginning of the video you see um, the place and it was so good it was our first time there we loved it a lot and I'm gonna be showing you guys how the food looks next and then telling you my reviews on it and what Jordan thought as well on the food and yeah I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far so this was my food um, Jordan thought that the left one was a bit salty but the right one was my favorite and this is jordan's food right here he really loved everything in here all right gonna let you know what we think of the nan food here in redlands right so mm -hmm. um you know <clears throat> me and my husband jordan guerrero we're gonna be telling you i'm also a guerrero to clear that out and uh, he's cracking up because right now before I did this I was like pretending and making a joke on him I was like I was like trying to see his reaction but 
<laughs> she's like, I have to good look good for my fans. It actually was just an act because I wanted to like see what he said. You know the and TikTok she's challenges. Like, she's like, all right, guys, <laughs> Sari Orozco here. I'm like, Orozco. <laughs> <laughs> she's not married. What? <laughs> We're here in Jordan's car, my husband's car. Um. And he's still enjoying some of that Nan food. Mm -hmm. So there he is with that Nan. That Nan. That Nan. Gotta have that Nan. And um, he has literally the Nan bread in there. Mm, it's bomb. The bread is is like uh, pita bread. And it's a little to toasty a little bit. It's good. It's you know? It was softer for me. Softer. But, I, but I love the softness. Yeah, it's too. soft. For me, if it was too crisp, I don't think I would enjoy Not it. Not crisp, but it's just uh, more uh, more flatter. Yeah. More thinner. Yeah. On certain areas. He really liked his food. I love it. He only liked one thing that I had it, it, that I'll probably be showing you guys in a picture. Um, but currently, he loves his food. And even the tiki masala, I was surprised because I got some tiki. And he didn't even like it. He was like, oh, the chicken does not have the flavor of the sauce. The sauce, don't get me wrong, the sauce is awesome. I love the sauce. The um, thing that I didn't like was um, when it came to the chicken, you bite into it. It's like a block of chicken and inside there's no flavor. It's kind of more dry, um, more just chickeny, bland chicken flavor. And so that kind of ruins the the whole, like it overtakes the the sauce, the flavor of the sauce for me. And so what I did was um, I mixed it up with, what is this? Curry? Some sort of vegetable? Curry? Yeah, it's like a vegetable curry. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called veggie, veggie curry. There, yeah, I think it was a veggie curry because they have it in their language, of course, here, the Indian language, their words. But they also try to have like a translation to it. Um, I really like the spinach one though. It has a block of cheese like you said, right? And I really enjoyed that one. I enjoyed the tiki masala and the vegetable curry that I had too. Had like peas and different mm -hmm. mixes of veggies. I really enjoyed that one. I think that um, it was a little bit salty like Jordan said. But I, overall I enjoyed it with the rice. It kind of brought down that saltiness. And like you said too, with the bread, it was perfect. Um, I love the, like she said, that um, the spinach and the cheese uh, was really good. I recommend that one. And also the curry that it seems to have some kind of coconut. Yeah, it seems flavor. to have some coconut milk in there, I think. Which is awesome. Because it really does have, because we have one that's similar to that at home, but it doesn't taste exactly the same. Remember the one in the jar? Yes. That's, that's right. what it is, but it's, this one's fresh mm, and sweeter and Wait. sweeter so he really enjoys that one um i liked it too i think it has a really distinct taste than the other ones i mi i what i do and i recommend it mix it with the masala if you want to get the chicken masala um that'd go perfect with this so yeah because i think they have similar color the only difference is creamy you can tell it was made with something creamy mm -hmm. um then the tiki masala is more orangey intense but yeah, I was trying to see if I could find anything to show you guys, but I ate mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a faster eater, so Jordan takes his time and enjoys every single bite. But I'm just like, I'm hungry, I gotta eat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we did pretty well. Um, th this was a good choice. Mm -hmm. I think that Jordan, like I told him, I thought of, of eating Indian food. But I didn't really say it, and he just took it out of my my head. Basically, he just knew what we were gonna eat. I guess um, I read her mind. I guess. <laughs> yeah. We uh, we were yeah. So we thought about this place. Mm, we're gonna try it out. Um. Yeah, I hit the spot. Um, it hit my the spot that I, um I was longing for, like a uh, authentic. Uh, Sort of uh, not fast food anymore because we're we've been eating a lot of fast food. Yeah, I think it's been getting kind of annoying just eating kind of annoying. fries. I'm just like, mm, I could make fries at home. Like. Yeah, and then switching from that 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 type of you know, we would switch off with 
American food and Mexican food. Chinese, Chinese food. Chinese food. And those were the only three, and then for the most part. Um, and so we wanted to try like something different. Yeah, because I mean, I've tried different types of food. Mm -hmm. Like, I bet you have too. Thai food. Well, it's like Thai our families too. probably this is when the time, like the time or season in our life where we try the most food because they would always be like, hey, let's go here and let's go there. Like if it was Jordan's family or my family taking um, individually us out to eat. But now together we're experiencing new mm -hmm. things and we've never been to this Indian place and we've never been to this um, Chaka tea bar. Mm -hmm. So that's something new for us. Like being able to embrace being adult and married to where we can go far. We don't have to be like, oh, stuck at home, or just when our families tell us, hey, go here, go over there, you know? Yeah, or uh, under curfew or under uh, yeah. um, someone else's budget or something like that. We're just, yeah. we're, we're our own adults and our own individuals. Yeah. We can do, you know, basically what we like, um, all under, you know, um, what's what's right. And yeah, yeah. we're grateful uh, for uh, this experience this new experience and in indian cuisine we definitely recommend it yeah uh, definitely uh, and here. uh we also uh, uh are grateful also uh, like of our families too because whenever we go with them there's they try different things um so we like going uh, i like it that they they show us new places yeah i've gone to pf changs yeah. but we did go to, uh, the week four to the um, what was it urban Urban plates and the other burger place called Eureka. Eureka, and also um, for uh, the birthday of um, my wife. No, my wife's mom. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, she, uh, we, we all celebrated it at PF Chang's, and that was pretty interesting because I haven't been there in the longest time. The last time I tried that, it wasn't good. <laughs> I had a good experience. This <laughs> but you gotta keep in mind like the chefs change you know like you said like you ate yeah, it so years ago so maybe it could have been a different chef that mm -hmm. made it and i tried like the same restaurant at different seasons in life and yeah it definitely changes everything yeah 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 that's a point there mm -hmm. <laughs> el torito was a place where me and my family would go often mm. and we liked it but at times the chef would just not get the food on point no one's perfect, but you know, we get so used to one flavor, the way that people make it. Mm -hmm. So that when we have a new flavor, like what is going on? Yeah. This is not what I normally have. Yeah. So, yeah. so guys, um, we appreciate you guys uh, checking uh, this video out. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to our channel. Freedom and Surrender. Freedom and Surrender. And uh, we're the Get It Also now, so. <laughs> Free to comment below if there's anything that you want to know about us when we got married, how it has been, um, maybe if you want to see a video on our wedding and we could post some pictures on here, make a video from our wedding so you could have an insight on that. We would love that too. And if you want to like, maybe we'll try to see if we could post a part of our video on here, maybe the vowel parts, um, not on this video, but on here on YouTube. And that way you guys can see how that moment was for us because it was definitely special. So if you're one of those people that loves those type of things, leave comments below. We love you guys. God bless you. <laughs> what is this parkour with ballet? <laughs> <laughs>
This one's Jordan's today, as you can see, this is his saying. As he performed a classic. These are the days that will last forever. You've got to hold them in your heart. Very true. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. <laughs> 